Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode to this Guide to Flight Simulator. In this episode I'll be doing a cold and dark start in this Airbus A320 and in this series I'll be doing a flight from Amsterdam to Frankfurt. I'm situated at Amsterdam Schiphol Echo Hotel Alpha Mike at gate Charlie 10. I suggest you do the same in your Airbus A320 aircraft of choice. Now I'm in the Flight Factor A320 in X-Plane. If you want more information about which flight simulator to choose, I suggest heading over to the FAQ page of the website of the Flight Sim Guru. But let's get started. I'm going to start by connecting the ground power unit and requesting the trucks, calling the fuel truck, requesting the door to be opened and a rear stairs, and the cargo trucks. I've pre-planned my flight in Simbrief, which is a website that I use, and that has given me 5,120 kilos of fuel. We have 130 passengers. And 9,000 kilos of cargo. Then we'll go over to the performance data and set this. Now, I won't be following the exact real world procedures but I will be following the simulator procedures to get the plane started. Turn on battery one, give it a second, turn on battery two, and then we can see that the external power is available. We'll turn that on and wait for it to discharge. And now that we've heard the fans turn on, we'll turn on the first ADIRS and wait for the on bat light to come on. And there comes the light, and once that extinguishes, we'll turn on the IR2 selector, and repeat the same process for the IR3. And the light comes on, and off, and we'll turn that over as well. Then we'll work our way down to the ground control of the voice recorder, turn that on, turn on the crew supply. We won't turn on the fuel pumps yet, we can leave this as it is. Turn on the navigation light, no smoking light to auto, and the emergency light to arm. And we'll turn on the cargo heat and leave the temperature as it is. Coming back down, I like to set my lights, so I like to turn off the floodlight. This is to your preference which lighting you would like. Then turn on the VHF-1 and tune into the Unicom frequency 122.8, as there is no ATC online at the moment. And then squawk 1000 in the transponder. As there are no worrying ECAM messages, I will clear this. And over here, I will select constraints on my navigation page and airport on that navigation page. I'll select the QNH and check the current QNH in my weather software, ASXB. Pressures 1020. I'll input that there and into our standby instrument as well. Then I can start programming the MCDU. We'll go over to the initialization page. We're going from Echo Hotel Alpha Mike to Echo Delta Delta Foxtrot. Input that return. We'll initialize the IRS. Our cost index according to Simbrief will be 34. And our cruise flight level is flight level 250. Our flight number today is Delta Lima Hotel 07 Kilo, Lufthansa 7 Kilo. We'll request the wind and go over to the second initialization page and request the weight. And tap boarding, and that'll load the weight. Then we'll go over to flight plan into Echo Hotel from Mike, departure, departing runway will be 24, and 
our departure SID is going to be the Rendy one Sierra departure. Insert that. We'll turn our navigation display over to plan the wider range. Moving on, we've left off at Edupo, and via Edupo we'll be going on an airway. Zulu three seven us Zulu seven three nine. To Mizco. After Mizco, it's a direct to Dixat. T one four nine two. Let me. And then the T nine one one to roll this. We'll insert this and as well check it on our navigation display we leave all that roll this and then we go to our arrival we'll be landing on a runway 25 center the ILS at Frankfurt and a roll this 3 Gulf is the arrival we're looking for we'll insert that and check it on our navigation display and we can see it right there now there's discontinuity, we'll delete that as we can see here that it's appropriate. And we also see the constraint altitudes. For now, for our final waypoint, we see that it's 7 nautical miles away, so we'll put 170 as a speed constraint. If it was, 100, if it was 9 nautical miles away, we'd put 190, but that's a good way to go. Then we'll go over to our performance page. I like to use a website which is called webpro.cz slash a320 and this will calculate the performance data for our takeoff. So if I input the origin, I can tap Matar. We will have our packs on for takeoff. Our takeoff weight and we can see that if we go back to our initialization page is 66.1 thousand and then our runway is going to be runway 24 full length and if we calculate that we get the following data a v1 155 rotate 155 and v2 156 our transition altitude will be 4500 feet I will input the thrust reduction and acceleration and the engine out acceleration. Our flex temperature is 59 degrees and flaps 1 and we can see the trim position in our performance data. 1 slash down 0 0.7. Then we go over to the next phase. We can see this is all determined due to our cost index and on our descent we can input bit of a faster speed and this arrival page and approach page will be done before arrival. Now we have three more minutes left for the IRS to align so meanwhile we'll, we'll increase the speed on the autopilot panel to 250 this is the maximum speed below 10,000 feet and we'll put this knob in the back over to 1,000 so that we can change the altitude in thousands. Now, as there's no ATC online, we'll be climbing straight to our cruise altitude of 25,000 feet. Now, the IRSs have one more minute to align, and what we'll do, we'll start the APU system so that we can start the engines later. We'll click the master switch, and wait for it to appear here on the lower ECAM display. Flap open, and we'll start it. And you can see that the N and EGT values are rising. There we go, we can see that it's available. We'll turn on the APU bleed. Turn off the external power. And we can see our IRSs are almost aligned. So we'll go over to the cargo page, remove the baggage loaders, close the doors, remove the fuel truck, and remove the chocks and ground power unit. Then the next thing we can do is turn on our fuel pumps and our beacon light. And this is where this episode ends. 
in the next episode we'll doing the engine start and pushback as well as the taxi and thereafter the takeoff go check out episode three in the previous episode i discussed the aerodynamics and the basics of flying check that out as well and i hope you enjoyed this one and learned something new thank you for watching see you in the next one